So today for Studio Sunday, I thought I'd share with you a game that I sometimes play with myself when I'm kind of feeling stuck in my artwork or, or that sort of thing. Um, so to do this thing, I've got a stack of prints that I've decided are not quite done yet. So most of these are one color. So I'm gonna turn them upside down, put them on my desk, and then I'm gonna get my prayer out and some stencils and away we go. Let's see what we get here. I'm going to pick a color. Uh, I'm going to go bold to start. I'm going to use this red. So I'm just going to roll it out like always. And I'm going to pick a couple of stencils or something. Um, usually just whatever I kind of have on hand. So let's go with this. The stencils are all, also red, so uh, you might not be able to see this very well. Anyway, I'm putting my stencils down. Maybe put that one over there. Um, and then what I do is I pick three pages upside down so I can't see what they are. So I got one, two, three and I tell myself I'm gonna print on two out of the three of these so let's see what we got we got a yellow one I got a funny pink one and I got a blue one so two out of three so one will pick up the first print and one will pick up the ghost print so I think I'm gonna go with this one first so we'll put it down and print it see what we get That's the first print. Um, I'm gonna just clean up this on a scrap paper because I'm not gonna get a great print out of that. Could have printed that on something else, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna take these off and do the ghost print on the second of the pages I chose. So I'm going to put that right on top of, um, let's go with this one actually, put that right on top of there. So this is just a really simple game that forces me to react to whatever I've got on the plate and what I'm doing. And um, I find that I've been getting some, uh, like some new ideas just by trying some things out and you know things that I wouldn't maybe have decided on So this one is getting more interesting. It's still not a great print But I feel like with another layer or two it could be quite interesting. So So these are my two prints on that one So I think I'm gonna pick another color or maybe go with the red again and see what we can get for the second round Let's go with the same stencils again this time The reason that I pick three is that there's always, it always happens that there's one that I'm like, eh, I'd really rather not print on that with that color. And that kind of gives me just a little option. So we've got this one, dark green, and see this one, I would probably avoid this. So um, let's see what we get here. Oh, see, that's a print that I couldn't have planned. So there's one. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna find us a, a, just a blank page to pick up this extra paint in here. That'll be a base layer for something. Oh, ooh, that's interesting how the stencil or the, how the image from the last one caused resist. Um, and then we'll take these off and print on my yellow page there. See what happens. 
So here's the yellow page. Now I'm not putting anything in my print more pile here um, that is precious or that I have specific plans for. Those go in a different pile. These are just the ones that I've decided, you know, don't stand up on their own completely yet. So print more. See, look, that's getting more interesting. I got a piece of hair in there. That's getting more interesting. I don't think it's done yet, but a couple more layers. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna leave it as is with the little bits of red on there. That's totally cool. Um, I'm gonna pick a different color and maybe some different stencils. And we'll see what happens next. So let's maybe go with, I'm gonna do purple. So I like this game because it um, kind of forces me to loosen up a little bit and that loosening up almost, or that loosening up often gives you um, more possibilities than you would have maybe considered otherwise because you're just kind of going with the flow. So I'm not super set on the outcome of this. Um, we're just kind of seeing what happens. I've got these ones that I haven't used yet more stencils I've cut. These are just like X's, I think, that are kind of fun. I'm just going to throw some of those on there. I've got some little squares. They're just the off cuts. There's another one. And I think there's one more here. Oops, I guess we're doing that square in there too. Okay, three pages. One, two, three. Okay, so I got blue, and then I got a light blue, and I got another light blue. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one first. Of course, you don't have to do three. You could do whatever, you know, whatever number makes sense for you. You can do whatever you want, but I find this is a good way for me to just kind of break out of my patterns. Like, look at this. I couldn't have planned that if I tried. So, interesting. You could even do um, a choice of three for every layer but I find that's a little too much. Now see this one, I think I'm gonna go with this because there is some um, transparency or some, there's some like open spots in the paint in those X's that I think might be interesting with this print. So let's see what happens. Yeah, see? Cool. Okay, I'm gonna do another color. Um, actually, no, I'm going to do more of the X's in the purple. Okay. Three more pages. One, two, three. Okay, so I got green, got some yellow, and this one I think is gonna be way too dark. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one first. I think there's a lot of paint on here, so I might do a deli paper pick up if this doesn't pull up the full print. Yeah, I'm going to need a deli paper pick up. Eh, interesting. These deli papers are amazing for collage, especially when you've got some big like graphic shapes like this. They're really fun to layer over top of other prints. 
And with the deli paper, you get more control as to where you put it. Like you can move it around before you commit to uh, commit to a positioning. There's that one. And now for this one, I think the yellow one would be interesting in terms of color, but the um, leaves on there don't really speak well to the to the X's. So I'm gonna go with the blue one, or sorry, the teal one. I'll put this one on there. Yeah, fun. Look at that. Okay, we got another print on here, but I think I'm just going to pick that up with some, uh, like a pickup print and, uh, oops, pick it up with a pickup print and get it, clean up my plate a little bit. another one that I think I've got a little too much paint on so I might want to do a deli print pick up in between that's totally fine same colorway. Um, I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> Interesting. See? Okay. Deli paper pickup. another one maybe with those same stencils Kind of red. Uh oh. Got 
two leaves and okay, I heard this one. Ooh. See, that's not what I expected it would do. I don't know what I expected, but I like it better now. So <laughs> let's do this guy too. Yeah, add another couple layers. This is a cool effect. I like the way the colors are blending here. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try that one more time because that's fun. Um, just cause it's fun. And um, see what we get. And then I'll go through and show you everything I uh, pulled today. One that's already teal, got like a light blue and an orange. Um, orange first. See, like, I would never have tried that. Okay, um, let's maybe, you know what, I'm gonna put this on this older one that I pulled. Hmm, interesting. And then this last print will just be the uh, last one I have here. I'm gonna go right on top of that. Okay, so these are the prints that I got. I got this one on the deli paper. That from the deli paper. With the red and yellow. This 
This is a pickup print. Colors are great in this one. And I really like that one too. And then this one, uh, I just used the stencils with the extra paint on them and kind of push that on there just to try and use up some of that extra paint. Um, but you can see I got some interesting results here. Some of these I would say are finished, but others are not. Let's maybe pull out the finished ones. I think that one's done. This one I'm not sure about. This one's probably done. That's done. This is done. This one needs more contrast. This one I'm not sure about. I like that one a lot. That needs print more. Print more, maybe some orange. This one, I think if I, it's got sections I like, I think it's good for collage or to crop it. And this one I think needs some more work, but it's got some potential. Um, I'm not sure what to do with that one yet, but that's okay. And then the first one I did, red and yellow. So that's my little game. I hope you enjoyed it and give it a go and let me know how it works for you.